Hi, my name is Josie and I'm the Manager of Customer Success here at EdSight. In this video, I'm going to show you how to search our library for an assignment and send it to your students. Let's get started. From your homepage, you're going to click Assignments in your top navigation bar. You're going to make sure that library is selected and you notice that by the green font and the green underline. Next, you're going to make sure that search is selected and you can tell that because it is highlighted in blue. You're going to enter your search term in the space provided. Today, I'm going to look for assignments about Anne Frank. You can then click the enter button on your keyboard or you can click the magnifying glass button on the screen and you will notice that your results will populate in this area here. Now if I want to filter my results I have several options. I can filter by grade, subject, or standard. To do this I simply click on the down arrow, I select the grades that I want to filter by and then I click the done button. It works the same way for subjects and for standards. You click this plus button and you select the standard that you want to align the assignment by. Next, right now I'm viewing 10 assignments per page, but I can always view more if I want by clicking the down arrow and selecting either 20, 50, or 100. I can also sort my results by popularity, relevance, newest, or oldest. So if I'm going to look at this Knight and Frank assignment, I see that it is by Chip Davis. It's aligned to grade eight. It's an ELA assignment and it was shared on December 1st, 2014. There are seven questions in this assignment. It has 44 likes and 1,402 views. I can also click this down arrow and see if there are any standards that are aligned with this assignment. I can click the assign button to assign it to my students. I can click the preview button to preview the assignment, or I can click the more button to either see the assignment in a student view or customize the assignment to meet my students' needs. For right now, I'm going to assign the assignment straight to my students. So I'm going to click the assign button. Once I do that, my scheduler pops up and I can assign the assignment to classes. I can assign it to specific students. I can assign it to specific groups or I can assign it with a link. That link is typically posted in Google Classroom or I can write it on my board for my students to copy. Next, I'm gonna click the class name that I wanna send the assignment to. I can send it to all of my classes, but for today, I'm just going to send it to period two. The start date is now. I can change it for any date, but I'm going to leave it as now. And I'm going to put a due date in it. I'm going to click the box. I'm going to select the due date of next Monday. And there we have it. Now I'm all done with this page and I'm ready to send the assignment to my students. So I'm going to click the assign button. And I get a confirmation notice saying that I've successfully scheduled one assignment to one class with six students. At this point, I can close this page and go back to the assignment library. I can manage the assignment. Maybe I want to send it to another class or I can view live progress. Maybe my students are starting to work on it right now and I want to watch them move through the assignment in action. If you have any questions about this or anything else on EdSight, please remember to click the help or feedback buttons at the bottom of your page.